Hi, I am going to explain the project project topic by the forecasting prediction using Navy Bayes algorithm. First, data collection. The data is collected from Kaggle website. We, we have taken the CSV file data set for this project. This is the data set for, for this project. The next one is data pre-processing. Pre-processing is used to reduce the noisy data and null values. Here we are checking for null values, filling null values as another values. We can see this in source code. First import, uh, import, import the packages. This line import the numpy library and give it the alias np and the second line import pandas and give the alias pd. The third line reads in a csv file named with a history.csv using the read csv function from the panda library and assigns the resulting data frame object to a variable named data. Now I run this cell data.head function is a method call on the data frame object data. This method returns the first five rows of the data frame as a new data frame object. This is the five rows of our data. The next one is data shape. Data shape is an attribute of the data frame object data. This attribute return your tuple representing the dimension of the data frame where the first element of the tuple is the number of rows in the data frame the second element is the number of columns in the data frame dropping unwanted columns data loud cover dot value counts function is a method call on the data frame object uh, data that is used to count the unique value in the loud cover column Showing zeros for all the rows shows drop the column. Data drop loud cover access one in place true. This is a method call on the data frame object data that drops the loud cover column from the data frame. The drop function method is a pandas method that used to remove row or column from your data frame. The second argument axis is equal to one. Specify that the column should be dropped as oppo opposite to your row which should be specified by axis. The third argument in place equal to true specify that the data frame should be modified in place meaning that the changes will be made to the original data frame data. Now we can run the data. Here the data after drop the loud cover column. This cell is uh, already run. Data dot drop as a method call on the data frame object that drops a formatted data and daily summary column from the data frame. After this method call, the formatted data and daily summary columns will be removed from the data frame data, and the resulting data frame will have two less columns in the original. Final shape. Final shape uh, rows and uh, columns or uh, dimension of our data frame is shown here. Checking for null value. Data is null function dot sum function is a method call on the data frame object data that returns the number of missing values in each column of the data frame. The is null function method is a pandas method that returns a data frame of the same shape as the original data frame where each element is a boolean value indicating whether it is missing or not. The sum function method is then called on the resulting data frame which calculates the sum of each column treating true value as 1 and false value as 0. Data precip type dot value counts function is a method called on the data frame object data that returns the count of unique precise value in the precip type column. After this method call, the output will show the count of each unique uh, value in the precept type column of the data frame data. Filling null values. Data 
data precipitated fill now method in place factor is equal to zero is a method call on the series object data precip type that fills the missing value in the column with the lost valid observation using forward filling the fill any function method is a pandas method that is used to fill missing values in the data frame or series in this case the method is called on the data precip type after this method call the missing values in the precip type column will be filled with the lost valid observation in the column storing target value value counts function dot index x uh, index is a statement that creates a new variable target values and assign it the, it the unique value of the summary column so shorted by the frequency count in the descending order after this method statement the variable target values will contain an array like object that contains a unique value of the summary column shorted by the frequency count in descending order converting categorical attributes into numerical from sql and pre processing input label encoder label encoder is a statement that imports the label encoder class from the sql and pre processing model label encoder function is a statement that create a new instance of the label encoder class and assigns it to the variable le in this step and then uh, data summary a statement that applies the fit transform function method of the label encoder object le to the summary column of the data data frame and assign the encode value to the same column the fit transform function method of the label encoder class first fit the encoder to unique uh, value of the summary column and then transform the column value into the corresponding integer label data head function now we now the first five rows of the data uh, of our data frame is shown here by calling the head function dividing the data frame into independent and uh, dependent and independent uh, variable y equal to data dot ilac uh, zero is a statement that uh, creates a new variable y and assign it in the it the values of the first column of the data data frame using the ilac method the ilac method is used to select rows and columns of your data frame by the integer index in this case y will be panda series object that contains the value of the first column of data and x equal to data ilac uh, one is a statement that creates a new variable ex and assign it all the columns of the data data frame except for the first column using the ilac method in this case x will be data frame object that contains all the columns of data except for the first column the variable x and y often used in supervised learning crop Problems where x represent the features or independent variable and y represent the target or dependent variable. Now we show the x is a x uh, x data frame and uh, run the y. Now we see the y's data frames, datas. Checking the correlation between variables. X dot coro correlation function is a method called that compute the pairwise correlation of columns in the x data frame the correlation function compute the person correlation coefficient between all pairs of column in the data frame and returns a new data frame that shows the correlation matrix this is the output for x dot correlation function and then x dot drop and x dot shape x drop uh, is a statement that drops a column named apparent uh, temperature from the x data frame using the drop function method and x dot shape uh, is a statement for returns the dimension of the x data frame as a tuple using the shape attribute in the case it will return the new dimension of the data frame after the column apparent temperature has been dropped x column equal to x dot columns is a statement that creates a new variable x columns and assign it to uh, the column name of the x data frame using the column attribute next one is splitting the data set um, this is a module 3 splitting the data set this is the output for x columns equal to x dot columns 
leading of data set. From SQL on module, selection import train test split is a statement that import the train test split function from the model selection module of the SKLAN library. Train test split function is a function used to split the data set into training and testing data sets. Uh, it takes several arguments including the features and target uh, variable. The size of the test set uh, in this case 30% of the data and a random sheet in this case to ensure that the data is split in a reproducible manner. Using PCA from sklan.pcomposition import PCA is the statement that import the PCA principal component analysis class from the decomposition model of the sklan library. Xtrain dot shape PCA dot fit transform Xtrain is a statement uh, that applies PCA to the training data by calling the fit transform function method of the PCA object. This method fits the PCA model of the training data and then transform the data to its lower dimension. X dot X test dot shape uh, this method transforms the test data to its lower dimensional representation using the parameter learned from the training data and giving the output uh, like this. Normalizing the data set to give equal importance to each attribute independent variable. From sklearn that preprocessing input standard scalar is a statement that import the standard scalar class from the preprocessing module of the sklearn library. ESC standard scalar creates a new instance of the standard scalar class that will be used to standardize the data. Xtrain SC dot fit transform Xtrain applies the standardization to the training data by calling the fit transform function method of the standard scalar object SC. This method fits the scalar to the training data and then transform the data. Convert the numpy array xtrain and xtest back to panda data frame with the original column names. pd.dataframe function is a constructor method of the pandas library that create a new data frame from your numpy array. This column parameter is used to specify the column names and in this line X column is a variable that should contain the original column name of the CHF before the column apparent temperature was dropped and the PCA and standardization were applied. X train and X test will now have the same column names and format as the original data frame. Expect for the dropped column apparent temperature C. Here is the output for this. Classifying using navy Bayes algorithm implementation in module five using navy Bayes and random forest. Now we can see the see that now classifying using navy Bayes theorem. In this line, import Gaussian NB class from the navy Bayes model of the SKLAN library. Create an instance of the class. Fit the training data to the module model using the fit function method and then use the predict function method to predict the class label of the test data. Import the matrix matrix module from SKLAN and uses the accuracy score function to calculate the accuracy of the model prediction on the test set. Metric dot accuracy score y test comma y prediction takes the true class label of the test set y test and the predicted class label y prediction and returns the fraction of correctly classified sample. The output of the statement is a single number between 0 and 1 where a higher value indicates better performance. Now we using the using random forest classifier. First, I run this code. Import the random forest classifier from the ensemble module of the SKLAN library. Create an uh, 
instance of the class with specified hyper parameter fit the training data to the module model using the fit function using the fit function and then use the predict function to predict the class label of the test data random forest classifier is an ensemble learning method that fits a number of decision trees on various sub sample of the data set and then averages their prediction the code is running In this line fits the random forest classifier to training the data and the train and the corresponding label explain why prediction or a predicts the class label for the test data x test using the predict function of the fitted or f object in this line uh, calculate the accuracy of the model prediction on the test set that is the output Next, feature importance. Calculate the importance of each feature in the random forest classifier. X columns. Return the list of column names of the input features. Whereas the output. Classification report Y test Y prediction. Generates a report of various metrics such as uh, prediction. Precision recall and F1 score for each class in the classification task. The output of this code or the accuracy score, feature importance, list of columns, names, and classification report. Here is the overall output for this project. Thanks for watching.